Hey everybody, welcome back, it's the Mac. Welcome back to uh, Panzer Campaign's Stalingrad 42, a continuation here of Plug in the Dike, part uh, 9, I think, something like that. Uh, turn 15 to 20, we got five more turns. We're going to pick up the action from the previous episode there. Um, the Russians are still attacking strongly all over the place, and uh, we are in trouble at some, some areas here, definitely on the flank here. So we need to start doing some damage. Let's have a look at the victory change. We're actually gaining points there. That's good. It's because we caused such good casualties, I think. All right. Let's see. Fresh turn. Let's look at artillery first. Um, all right. We are in danger. This massive force. It's huge. What is it? Six companies? Or who knows? Six companies or six battalions? <laughs> it's a huge force. Uh, they're smashing right down here now. Uh, they do have ways to go to that objective. They probably will not reach that. They could go for this. Right, so we do have artillery in close proximity here. Uh, let's hammer them a bit. It's only four guns, which is really almost no artillery support at all. Uh, let's have a look here, right, there's plenty of stuff going on here now, we're sort of getting these guys a bit, look at that, they recovered, still got some really dangerous forces here, what's going on up here, so he actually retreated those tanks, which was lucky for me, he could, probably could have destroyed those guys there, he's moving down stuff, Okay, so we have very limited artillery support, so where to prioritize? I mean, this is... we need to take these guys out. Once we have freed up this, we can smash them in the back. We can also consolidate this. So let's uh, actually um, hammer these units a bit, see if we can grind them down. Okay, we've got counter-battery fire on us. And we have more, 10 more guns there. Let's keep hammering them. These are heavy guns. Decent. All right, we got a battery way back here. Uh, they can only target this bridgehead here. So let's keep doing that. Five guns. Not a lot. We have these guys. They cannot fire. We need to get them in there. So we can just keep hammering here. Eight guns at least. We got them disrupted. That's good. Alright. Let's look some obvious firing. Uh, Alright. So he, let's use these tanks to our advantage. Let's see. He's got, he does have some nasty anti-tank guns there. We have basically nothing to counter-attack with here. They're all completely fatigued. Um, so maybe if I can get this armor, I really would have loved to, to surround these guys and get them isolated, but I don't have anything in the area that can actually do that. Um, they have soft range too, okay. That's good. Um... Well, we're not going to... We could attack the anti-tank guns from here and see if we can do any damage. We did knock out one. Yeah, only fatigue. So. Oh, well. We took out one gun. Uh, these guys are going to have to retreat. Uh, hard two. Okay. Yeah, these are back 40s. Uh... Could fire some three guns. Yeah, well, probably no point. I'm just going to take, uh, yeah, casualties with counter battery fire and everything else. So we're not going to be able to do any good damage in that range, anyways. Uh, one flak gun left. What can they see here? All right, so they did have some units that are so, like these guys here. So it's just like a recon unit. It's only, only one gun, and it's low on ammo as well. Could get a lucky dice roll. No. 
Uh, right, these tanks are plowing on here. Uh, how good are they? Not that great versus soft. I mean, I could use them. Actually, I'm waiting for some infantry to arrive here. Let's just keep hammering here. So those guys have almost had it. They're double digits only. So let's keep on pressing here. It's 35 vehicles. We should be able to do decent damage here. 10 men. Wow. Use the tanks to slaughter some of these guys in the open there. Uh, Alright, I'm not going to fire with these men. Because they're just going to take her lots of opportunity to fire there. I'm kind of tempted to go for an assault here. Um, even though it's pretty bad. But since those guys have almost had it. fires with some of these anti-tank guns. Yeah. I mean, I could wait for my reinforcements to arrive. I don't really need to push it. Uh, we're not in grave danger. I mean, maybe here, but I think we are fine. We are, we are actually winning the battle, so... Hammer them, cause casualties. And uh, this, on the other hand, is more interesting. Um, this actually just really grind his infantry down here. Let's attack with this fairly powerful engineer unit, causing very low casualties, though. They have 14. Wow, it really can sh from four casualties to 14. So I've I guess those first rolls were pretty bad results. Now this is a problem here. We are blocking him here. Let's just wait and see if we can do something there. Right, we still have that one gun. Shit, heavy guns. No effect. Right, the 88s. Oh, we took that one. Nice. Being hit by artillery, though. Nope. Would be good to get an infantry unit here, actually. We could take those KVs out if we got lucky. Uh, right here, I need to move them back in there. This is bad news for us there. All right, so here we go. We're holding this line. We could just basically lay down a hail of rifle fire here. Sort of grind him down. I don't think there's much more actually coming from that bridgehead. So it could free up maybe some units to start moving them over there. Leave, leave uh, two companies here to guard. Alright. Uh, he's got mass disruption there. Um, Let's see. I don't think I don't, can, they can move and attack. No. It's the damn snow there. We can't move in. Uh, but we're going to go for an assault on this bridge for sure. Six men. Not bad. We could cause uh, some really good damage here. When we assault. Decent. I've been hit by something from there. I, I think those cavalry units were pretty large. 
Let's see what it's yeah, okay. He's got flat guns there. All right. All right. Let's do some important movement here. Um, well, those guys could probably just stay there and recover. They will stay and recover. They as well. We're gonna be pulling back here. Uh, this is a village, I think. Yeah, let's definitely move me into this village. Get some added defense. This headquarters. One hex. All right. Let's get him over there. Gonna retreat there, man. Uh, let's just hold this for now. Uh, yeah, let's just leave them there. They're gonna have to hold out. This small recon unit has recovered. Let's get them on top of the hill there. They're gonna hold the line. Here we go. Um, so this is very dangerous here. We're gonna be careful here. He's got. Big ass tank formations there. So he will not be able to get through here unless he assaults them because we have the zone of control. But we don't have any anti tank capabilities as well. And this is dangerous now. Um, so we do have prepared positions here. So are these. Uh, but I, he's, he will probably move down and try to go for this. So. And they're sort of fresh. I think I should move down. Here, be ready for an attack. There, maybe. Um, yeah, they're going to be staying there with this headquarters, 11th Panzer, right? Um, let's get them into that fortified village. Um, flat guns, even more flat guns. They're going to stay there, All right? Here we go. How far can they move? Um, not that far, and deploy two hexes. It's pretty bad. Um, uh, let's see. They could move full movement. Woo! Just move, move by that unit. Okay, this is dangerous as well being in travel mode because the enemy will target us. With artillery, so they're moving in there. Let's use one of these eleventh. See if we can take these tanks out. I mean, uh, yeah, they're tanks, light tanks. See if we can do it. Salt them. See if we can knock out a few of those. Six vehicles, man. Nice. Yeah, so they're trapped there and we're being assaulted. Good stuff. Six vehicles there. Uh, unavailable. Um, this artillery is really far behind. So it would be good to try to move them a bit closer. I mean, this these guns are definitely in range. These guys are pushing it for some of these units over here. I think I should try and redeploy this artillery here. Uh, wow, these anti-tank guns definitely in trouble here. Uh, let's get them down. I want to get them in here. I want to get them. Oh, I can't. Why? Dang. I can't. I'm, I'm in, caught in this zone of control here. Right, we need to annihilate those guys. Hmm. All right. That was probably a bad idea to move them down there. I probably should have deployed them. Yeah, I'm suffering with this constant uh, low ammunition thing. Uh, yeah, I still have that on. Okay, uh, let's get back. Where was I? Um. Here, let's see this. Hmm, man, they're all over the place here. One hex. Uh, these anti-tank guns. I can move them up and deploy them. Use them next turn. These guys are heading back a bit. 
And let's see. I could probably use them. They're going to be attacking up here, I guess. Very slow movement, though. I wonder if I get myself in travel mode. See how dangerous this is. Because we're getting, I, want to, I want to destroy those KVs. It's actually single digits left. They will just stay in recover. Um, they will hold that. These guys are actually part of the 11th. Reconnaissance there. Let's just get him back there. Right, so all we can do. Let's see if we can do with some firing. Yeah, I'm not going to fire them. I think it did it all. Uh, yeah, all right. Okay, let's just see what happens here. Let's end the turn. See what he does with these units. Yeah, he's going for it. He is going for it, man. He's pulling some units back. Oh, he's going down there again. Okay, he's going for a big attack on the town there now. Ooh, we only have flak guns in there. It's bad. Yeah, the snow is causing us to move very slow, fortunately. So he might actually, I mean, he might actually go for some assaults here. He does have some fresh units there. Oh, my headquarters is being destroyed now as well. Falling units are isolated. Oh, yeah, he did assault because we've lost a shitload of guys and the anti-tank guns. I should have pulled them out when I had a chance, man. Oh, well, taking heavy casualties there. The poor 7th Falcon Jagger Division has just been brutalized, man. Uh, okay. Okay, it's bad. All right. Okay. How are we doing in the... Did we lose a lot of victory points there? Yeah, I was sort of not gaining that much. We're, we're taking heavy casualties ourselves now. We still got a major going. All right, so look at the artillery. Oh, man. If I fire now, they're all going to get an opportunity to fire. We're, this is bad. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to try and move them out, but they'll probably will be shot to pieces anyway when I get them in travel mode, so... Um, I'm going to have to consider this these guys lost, I guess. I don't know if there's any point actually firing as well, because we cost such low casualties. I'm going to wait with that. Let's use this battery instead. Okay, so he's not recovered here. Holy crap, look at this. Map. Oh, we're disrupted there as well. Ah. We're being totally overrun. The hordes are coming, man. Uh, this battery here. Not that many targets. I guess we're just going to have to weaken these guys. And this battery way back here. Heavy guns. All right, pretty low casualties there. Okay, this battery can only fire at these tanks. I think they're out of range for that. Oh well. This, this, yeah, this battery can now. Let's see what's going on here. Is travel mode? Is he moving more forces up there? Or did he? He might have retreated actually. All right, uh, let's just keep hammering here. Yeah, terrible losses there. Um. Let's look at some firing here. So these tanks. Nobody's recovered here yet. I don't know what he's maybe I should use the tanks to actually scout this area. If there are artillery positions there, we could probably take them out with these uh, these tanks. Alright. Oh man, these guys are 
big trouble here. They're in a village, but there's no way in hell they're going to be holding these guys back. Um, let's just stay there. Fight to the last bullet. Okay, these guys recovered. That's good. Hmm. Oh, mass disruption there. Um, they're good to use as a buffer here. Because I want to surround these units and destroy them. Um, let's see what kind of opportunity fire the enemy gets. Hit by mortars. One man. Shit, rockets. Two men, not bad. Um, let's see. I want to push them back. So I can free up this armor a bit. All right, I'm going to do it. I'm, I'm going to go for an assault here. Three tanks and 103 men. I'm going to go for an attack. Oh, should we have penalties as well? Uh, we can do it. Two, four. All right. I did push them back. All right, this tank is freed up now. Ooh, do I want to use it here and sort of... I could... Just run them down there. Do need them in this fight here, though. But let's cause let's cause some chaos in the enemy there. Uh, they will hold it. Those pack guns should try to get back to this. What's going on here? Those engineers are actually disrupted. We have 445. Pretty fresh guys. I'm gonna go for an assault. What? 16 men was lost, 39 to the enemy. They held their ground. Okay, that was a pretty costly attack. Um, yeah, these engineers. So, there's no point attacking because they, they're going to they're gonna filter through here. Uh, probably shouldn't have moved that armor there. I was getting a bit carried away. Um, these engineers are pretty darn fresh, but we don't know how big these guys are, how big that group is. I'm going to wait. All right, so where can these guys move? They can actually get in here, which they will. We're going to have to hold the objective, man. And uh, they're there, those tank guns. Maybe move the flak to... These are trenches. They're a bit better. Let's get them out. Here we go. 11th to the rescue. Um, yeah, let's advance here. So they are still in travel mode, which sucks. Um, okay. All right, we're getting there slowly. Flat guns, they recovered. Artillery's being moved up. All right, um, sure, let's get them. Actually, let's get them up here somewhere. They need to be closer to them at the top as well. Uh, they're holding the ground. Flak is doing great. Uh, Anti-tank guns are now in a position of being very dangerous to move them. Um, let's get them down there. These guys are freed up, which is great. So Let's try and deal with those engineers once and for all. What's going on here? Single digit. All right, so let's... Um, Let's attack them again. If we're lucky we can knock him out now. Take out the remaining tanks. Three tanks was lost, but he's still holding it. Alright. 
Recon is uh, moving. Those guys. Yeah, so I don't know what's going on up here. It could be. I think there was another tank unit here somewhere. It's very dangerous to move in, in travel mode here. We don't know what's going on back here. Maybe get them there. All right. Um, these guys are trying to help out there. They're holding that. They're just holding that area now. There's guys resting. Um, okay, so he's got mass disruption there. Okay, they, they are part of two different divisions, unfortunately. Uh, but I think it would be good to go for a massive assault here, actually. They're not isolated. Um, could cause good damage here. Yeah, we do get the penalty there. But we are optimistic. Yeah! 27 men to 287? I think that's a pretty good trade. <laughs> and we didn't get uh, disrupted either, so we did kill a lot of guys there. In that small area. Good stuff. Alright, let's so look at some firing here. Right? Yeah, these tanks. I was going to move them. Alright, this is risky business, man. But, um... I'm going to move and fire. i got to be careful here, man. Ooh, look at that. Hello, mortars. You have been causing me a lot of pain. Alright, so the problem is... Assaulting these guys now, it's dangerous. Because they probably have decent defense. And let's just fire at them. One gun. Right, we're going to be hit by pretty a, quite a lot of artillery here. No fact, really? Okay. Uh... Defense, defend. All right, so they push those guys back. Just gonna leave them there. Uh, they will attack. Two cash. That's that, that's probably a pretty big um, engineer unit, or they're, they're they're from the fifth tank army, so they might be pretty badasses actually. Uh, all right, let's just cause damage here. 14. 6. Fourteen again, nice. Those are really good attacks there. Shit, rockets! Ooh! Lost a gun. Uh, sure, why not? Maybe they will knock out some of the last tanks there. If we're lucky. No. Um... The one anti tank gun. Can we go for a lucky shot, maybe? Ah, no, got knocked out. All right. 88. No effect. Nope. We do have these guns. Seven anti tank guns there. Took out a tank, good stuff. Two tanks, not bad. Oh shit. Ah, oh, lost a tank. Okay, let's keep attacking here. Broken! That's what we like to see. Two men. All right. My new one is broken there. That's good. 
All right, taking shots. All right, game. Uh, did I move everything? All right, so they are just staying there. Uh, they are going to be holding out, hopefully, somehow. Uh, they are in pretty big trouble there. They're probably going to get destroyed. Um, right, we finally have the 11th arriving. Could cause some damage. Everything has been moved. They're in trouble too there. And these guys are just holding the objective now. And the rest is there. Okay. And I think I did all the artillery. Except that battery. I'm not going to use it. Let's see if they survive another turn there. Let's end the turn. It looks like he took out some of my artillery guns there. Uh, all right. Well, it looks like our tanks. Oh, he's pulling back. He's moving in stuff there again. Shifting forces there. Oh. Hopefully I can... Uh, I probably would not have a chance to, to surround him there. All right. Huge assault in the north. Man, look at the forces he's bringing in there. Jeez. He's even moving the tanks in there now. Wow, this has been a really fun scenario, actually. Uh, really tough, really challenging for once. Playing, playing versus the AI. This is really, it's been quite challenging. Uh, good scenario, this. The following units are isolated. Those poor Jaegers. Disrupted and isolated, but they're, they're hanging on there. And uh, we got three artillery unavailable there. Who got back? Those pioneers are finally back. Uh, those lousy anti-tank guns. And those guys are back, okay. We got some recovered losses of some units as well. Good stuff. All right. What happened in the victory department there? 1366 still, yeah. We're Okay, the enemy is up to 8,000 losses in manpower now. We have lost almost 3,000 now. 116 guns, 186 vehicles. So, we are our casualties are mounting as well, but we are... Yeah, I mean, the, the Russians are up at 8,000 men losses. That's, that's quite a lot. So, we're still holding on here. It looks like he gave up on taking this. He's just been sort of using his forces here. There's a lot of guys here. Uh, so we're going to try and attack here. So there's no way we can actually encircle him here, but it would be great. So he did move some stuff in there. That broken unit, oh, okay, he, he pulled it out. Okay. Uh, he's still clinging on here. Desperately fighting back. They decided to... Act. They're isolated. They actually pulled back now. Which is actually pretty good for us. He's got his headquarters there as well. If I can move a unit in here without being shot to pieces, we could, we could get these guys... Hopefully start getting them disrupted and isolated. And we could actually massacre these guys if we get some lucky rolls. The Panzers are surging forward here. This is where he's got all his mortars and stuff. Could try to take that out. We only have uh, three more turns. I'm actually going to end it here, man. We're going to pick it up in the next. So uh, thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying it. And I'll see you in the next part.